Welcome back, episode 56 of Sketching Up. I'm Chris Schnabel with Kyle Scott, and we have two guests with us today because we're doing another draft. The draft was so successful the first time, and I mean, millions upon millions of people just requested it back. And those millions of people, every single one, Kyle, every single one, requested Dave Puglisi. Nice. Uh, see, Joe was like all like, oh, Damn. he's going to say my name. He's going to say my name. And then I went a different direction. No, no that's Joe. not. That is not. What I thought you were say, all those millions of people who watched the draft and hardly any of them voted for Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> he's throwing oh, shots oh. early. He's throwing shots early. We haven't even started. He's throwing shots at it. It's like that, Joe. It's like that, Joe. I'm sorry. That's what we're doing. What we doing. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I mean, you let Shabble get Superman for free. Like, I don't know what to tell you. He is so salty about that. That's unbelievable. Let me re- introduce the rest of them. Uh, Dave Puglisi is here. He's going to be going over this. I'll, I'll explain the draft. He's coming in with the draft. And Joe Brown's coming back. Everybody knows him. He's on all the time. He, he's he's always here. I'm not going to explain who he is. But yeah, we'll start with special. Dave. Dave, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. How's yeah, I'm doing good. Doing good. Happy to be here. It's going to be a fun draft. Uh, you know, me and my, me and the team worked real hard last night to make sure that we had a good draft board. We're we're excited to go. We're ready to welcome these guys uh, to our team and, you know, uh, see what we can do here today. We're, we're excited. We're excited. A lot of fighting in the Puglisi war room, I've heard. A lot of fighting. <laughs> yeah, you know, there, there was a lot of debate on what, which superhero would fit best for which sport. But at the end of the day, you know, we went with our gut on this one. And uh, we, we think we, we've got uh, the right picks. Joe, how's it going? Thank you for joining us uh, yet again. I think this is your uh, 70th appearance out of 56 episodes. So that's a pretty pretty uh, good success rate, you know, yeah. over over 100 percent appearance. So uh, <laughs> no, yeah, thank you for having me. I had a lot of fun doing the draft the last time. So when you hit me up, wanted to be part of another draft, I was really excited for it. Also, uh, the Puglisi, uh the draft room. It's not it's not fighting. It's passion. And that's what you need out of leadership. You know what I mean? They're not fighting. They're passionate about their decisions. I feel like I, I, I made a, I made a quote, obviously there's no fighting in the war room. And then Joe's like, I'm going to one up that. I'm going to go take a quote from the movie draft day. The legendary movie. <laughs> Dude, that movie's <laughs> ridiculous. It's so bad. It, so bad. I watched that on a plane and I was like, get me off this plane right you now. You know what's like, funny is was... I feel like that's exactly where that movie deserves to be is a plane. Yeah. <laughs> that's where the premiere should have been is on a plane. Like <laughs> in Delta Airlines presents the new Kevin Costner movie. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll finish it up with Kyle. Kyle, how's it going? I see you were fixing your mic, so I wanted to wait a second for you to get done with that. How you doing? Man, I'm all right, man. Um, yeah, I was just trying to fix my mic because it's like I got this weird wonky setup, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm good. Sounds good. Um, you know, Joe over here taking shots, but it's okay. I, you know what I'm saying? I got him on this draft, though. Watch this. Oh, yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. You know, it doesn't matter what happened in the last, dra- last draft. Watch. There's a new draft happening today. So I want to start off with a question before we get into this draft. Um, does anybody have any good hot takes? Because I have a pretty good one that I, I wanted to bring up. It has nothing to do with what we're doing today. But I want to see if anyone off. else had any hot talk, hot takes they want to get off the chest first. No, you set it off first, and then we'll no, see what's set up. it off? Okay, yeah, so it I, was, uh, I was talking with somebody about uh, the cast of Friends, and we are talking about Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox. And I looked back at their movies, and I actually think film-wise, not popularity, not money, film-wise, Courtney Cox had a better career than Jennifer Aniston. I should bring up. The, uh, let me let me find that the is that's as hot as Florida, right, Dave? I know, that's a, I know. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a big statement. It's definitely a big statement. But I was looking through it. I'm like, you know, I think I think she's had movie wise a better a better career. Does anybody have anything they want to? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up my arguments in a second. Does anybody want to say anything off the top though before I get this out here? Uh I don't know. I mean, that's that's. I was just trying to think off the top of my head, like besides oh, yeah, so when, besides when like what she did, to Scream, it, and uh, she did what was Scream. It, the, she did, um, uh, she did Ace, Friends, Ace, Ace Ventura. She, Ace Ventura. She did um, Cougar Town. She did a lot, but when you think of yeah, Jennifer yeah. Aniston, Jennifer Aniston did a lot of comedies and stuff like that, but she never really had that <laughs> other prominent role. The other yeah, prominent role. Oh, what's it? Oh, we're acting yeah, like Cougar, Cougar like, Town, some yeah. prominent role. Like, because it's not the same level of Cougar Town with Jennifer Aniston show wise. 
other than like because they're both on Friends, so that's a scratch. The 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 TV show one she does on that Apple she's on right now. Yeah, it's won a whole bunch of awards and stuff. I don't, I don't know, know how many awards funny. Cougar Town won. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know either. I don't know off the top of my head either. I knew she was on that as well, but it, I think it was her early career, which is what made me say that because obviously the Scream series we just talked about. I know we're gonna say like, well, it's just Ace Ventura, but that was a she was the 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 um, co role in that. You know, she wasn't mm-hmm. the leading role. Obviously, that's Jim Carrey. Um, but I think it was the early career, and she she was on Family Ties for a little bit. She was on Murder She Wrote for a little bit. Like she had a pretty big career before going into Friends, and then she kind of continued it after Friends as well. I know it's a hot take. That's why I brought it up. That's why I said it in the first place. I mean, I just did a quick scroll of some IMDb's here, and uh, I can't tell you half the movies that Courtney Cox is in. Never <laughs> even heard of. <laughs> and then I rolled down the Jennifer Aniston list, and I'm like, oh, seen that, seen that, seen this, yeah. heard of that. You know, she made an I'm appearance on 30 movie. Rock. Like, I'm like, I'm just looking at this stuff. Like, yeah. you know, she like, had, 30 Rock, she had is off- cast of Friends, has made an right. appearance on 30 Rock. David like, Schwimmer, by the way, is the best appearance of all the Friends people on 30 Rock. <laughs> but, like, uh, what was uh, Office Space, right, in the 90s? Mm-hmm. The uh, the movie yeah. with, what was the movie with Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller, um... Oh my gosh. Uh, Man, she was in Marley and Me. Horrible bosses. I mean, come on now, guys. Horrible. She's so good. Horrible. 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 That was supposed to become a star after Friends. Like, it was like I don't remember because I was. I think it was probably remember. it was probably Joey because, probably he, had, too, because he had he had a, he had that extra sitcom afterwards. It was called Joey. It was and him and yeah. Schwimmer were both on. Schwimmer was on it for a little bit, and then. But I thought I was thinking it was I thought it was Schwimmer that was supposed to have like the big career after that, or Matthew Perry. Well, so one the movies Along Came Polly with Ben Stiller looks about. Fi- very funny movie. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman is incredible in that movie. Is the uh, well, he's. I mean, the, I understand he's not he's here anymore, but he was. <laughs> uh, um, no, no, but like I, I think this take. I think this take is outrageous. I think it's disrespectful to the the mantle that is Jennifer Aniston. She's an institution within our entertainment industry, and uh, you know, I think you, know you should I take it back. Like you know, I do something like this because now we're all riled up. Now we're ready to go. I'm you could argue like Lisa Kudrow's had a better career than Courtney Cox, like especially post Friends oh, with Easy A, and she's been in other things like she was Kimmy really Schmidt. Like, like she was, she was the, the well, she is pretty in that, right? Yeah, but she has she's a significant she has role a in it. Role, but it's not like a lead role. I mean, there how many scenes actually have Lisa Kudrow in it? Lisa Kudrow actually, after Friends, was basically just a, a principal. Like I'm thinking of, I, like, I'm thinking about. I'm like, I feel like she's always the principal. She was in a principal in a different movie too, wasn't she? Another one of those teenage movies the, from the 2000s. I think now she's I like a principal. Right. <laughs> she's like, you know, this is the perfect role for me. Like before Friends, I was a principal. I will I say, I did not respect Lisa Kudrow enough while we were watching Friends in live time as a kid, like watching the series, like. Didn't. Watching it now as an adult, Phoebe is so much better than I remember yeah. as a kid. She's so I like funny. Phoebe. She was always my favorite. It was Phoebe? I always liked Phoebe. I only know her as Phoebe. I had to look her she up. Was and I was like, she was overshadowed by the other two. No, she wasn't. Right. To me, she wasn't. Not to Kyle, huh? No, no, no. no, no I'm not saying individually. I'm saying like overall, she was oh, overshadowed yeah. by by the other. It's just
other than that, he hasn't really done anything in his career. No, he's I, he's got a show on right now on um, I don't know if it's Showtime or H- one of those like paid well, yeah, no, 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 cable saying, channels. But I, yes, I'm. But I'm saying he, there's that show that he has now. There was the show I can't remember with the Man of the House or something. Oh, uh, like by the way, Chris, uh, she was not a principal in another movie. She was the dean in Neighbors Two. So oh, yeah. she was above a principal. She was the dean of a college. So she's she got a, promoted. Yeah. But I was close, though. I was close. I was like, in I na- yeah, that. she's in both Neighbors movies. She's yeah. in both Neighbors. I'm thinking Neighbors 1. I, I'm definitely not thinking of Neighbors 2. Yeah. That is one of those movies that probably should not have gotten a second movie. Neighbors 1 is solid. Never I've been doing a lot of. I've been doing a lot of rewatching of the Judd Apatow movies and... Uh, yeah, well, that's a different podcast. All right, I got us all riled up. I'm glad we're all riled up and ready to go. I'm glad everybody's heated. I brought the right hot take. I brought my Skip Bayless today to make sure everybody's riled up and ready to go. Um, and I'm glad I did that because we have a fun one today. We are going to do another superhero draft. Um, if you joined us in the last episode, we did one of these. Um, not the last episode. The last episode we did, I think it was two episodes ago, we did this. Um, we decided just who's the best superhero team. That's kind of what Kyle and Joe were talking about earlier. But today we're going to mix it up a little bit. Um, today we are drafting the best superheroes that fit different sports. Now, a couple of rules here. Once a uh, hero's gone, they're gone. One's a uh, hero per sport for each person. And we're only doing Marvel characters. After a little discussion, we just feel like Marvel has a little bit of a deeper um, pool to pick from than the than if DC. DC is very top heavy, which is obvious. Like we all know DC is very top. So, I forget any rules there. I kind of went through kind of quick. Um, You're snaking? Snake draft. Okay. Um, we'll get to that in one second. It'll be a snake draft. We're going to do the picks the same way we did the last one. I have my Google random number generator ready to go. Because um, Dave is new. He'll be number one. Joe is a guest. He'll be number two. Kyle will be number three. And I will be number four again. And I will share this right now. Please hold as I share this screen. And if you ask Kyle, by the way, this is two straight times now that I've come in hot on a, on a podcast. Last podcast I came in hot to you. You can check that out. You can go to YouTube no. or, or, or Scorching? Was he scorching no. hot, Kyle? No. It was scorching. No. It wasn't no, a hot it take. Wasn't. It wasn't a hot no, it take. Wasn't. It, was it wasn't scorching hot. hot. It was nuclear hot. <laughs> like you came <laughs> down yeah. with the I came in, I came in hot. Tumor. It was oh not. God. It was not a hot take. It was not a hot take. It was I was fuming about a thing I had to talk about. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys want to hear that, you can it. go on the last podcast. All right. So here we go. Here's number number one. First pick will be. Is that me? I'm no. That's Dave. I'm four. Okay. So Dave's got the first pick. I saw no. two. I saw two that's real quick. Huge. Just, that's huge. Well, that's because it's it scrambles through. I know. I didn't know at first. I just popped off when I saw it, but no. So Dave, myself, Kyle, and then look at that. Joe will be no, sorry. What I, how, uh, Joe what Kyle. I Joe Kyle. I just I'm, I'm two. Kyle's two. Kyle's Joe's last. Kyle's last. Okay. Someone else is wrong. This, 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 this is this is what for, this is what the your listeners have to endure. They have to endure Jennifer Anderson slander and then confusion <laughs> in the draft order. Like, uh, you know, what's going on here, Chris? Um, well, I I am not that smart. I am not good with numbers, and I obviously <laughs> shouldn't be leading this show. Oh my god, four numbers! I can't keep up. It's too much going on. That's 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 three more than I can count to. Okay, that's <laughs> fair. that's not fair. Okay, so Dave gets to go first. He can pick whatever one he wants. I'm sorry if I'm leaning against the thing here, but I'm going to write down everybody's things. Um, in about two seconds, Dave will have the floor. I just want to say this is brought to you by nothing because we have no sponsors. Okay, Dave, here we go. Dave, you yeah, are uh, the number one pick is on the clock. Go ahead. You might, do you want to explain the four sports? Because you said, like, oh, we're oh, drafting yeah, for different sports. See, but this you didn't... is why I asked. See, I shouldn't be leading this show. It's clear. <laughs> I am not fit to do this. Because, um, like, if, what if I draft tennis and Kyle goes for, you know, bowling sport? How do we know what sports be, we're drafting? That would be a good strategy. That would be such a good strategy. Um, so the four sports are – Baseball, football, basketball, and hockey, the four American sports. Did I forget anything else before I give Dave the floor? Dave. All right. So we're the first pick in the Marvel Superhero Sports Draft. Uh, 
I don't know if it's going to be uh, the best pick of the draft, but we're, we're going to go with uh, Deadpool number one uh, for hockey. And uh, oh! the reason being oh! that was my is, uh, is our boy Ryan Reynolds is about to buy the Ottawa Senators, and that's enough for me to say that Deadpool should be the number one pick in this draft. So there we go. Deadpool's uh, Deadpool's off the board. Plus, I had a feeling Schnabel would try to sneak him out of us later. So uh, Deadpool goes hockey number one. I, I will say um... – I'm writing this down, so give me one second. I will say that Deadpool would have been my pick for hockey as well because I know he's Canadian. Exactly. I, that's what I was going to say. He's yeah. Canadian, and the guy who plays him is going to buy a hockey team, and that's enough for me. That's the most Deadpool Canadian. thing you could do. But the so, other, like, logistically, the other best reason with Deadpool is because, like, let, let's assume let's assume he's not just going against Connor McDavid and reg, regular human beings, but he's playing superhero hockey against other superheroes. Deadpool's going to be able to outlast all the other superheroes in the hockey f- brawls because he regenerates. Like if I cut That's Captain true. America's arm off in the hockey brawl, he's not going to regenerate his arm where the way that no. Deadpool can, I so he can win feeling, every brawl. I do have a feeling it's more than a five minute major if you take someone's arm off in a hockey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, but and this is say, superhero I think, hockey. I think I think that's Deadpool would be a great true. locker room guy. That, that, that's a, that's the kind of character that the league needs. So by bringing <laughs> Deadpool into the hockey world, I feel like we're only just making the game better. So uh, I think he's an important aspect to the team. And so really, our pick was really more about the game and growing the game. That's the help grow game. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a great pick. I think that was on everyone's board for yeah. hockey. And I only have one other person that I would go for with hockey. So I guess number two is also going to be hockey. I'm going to go with Wolverine. And no! That is because oh, I had him. I had him on the board. Canadian character. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I was picking the two Canadians for hockey. Um, Wolverine is also Canadian. Um, obviously, that would be a great rivalry with Dave, with Wolverine versus Deadpool. We all know that's the new movie coming out. You can also hear that on a former podcast if you look up top. But this is just great um, to be able to take him as my hockey pick. And I and I feel like the other sports you can kind of fill in with different people, and hockey is going to be the hardest. So it's not surprising that hockey is the first two picks. Uh, I will pick Wolverine. Number two, he is back on the squad for the second straight draft. All right, so that means uh, Joe is that up. means I'm up, right? Ooh, this is tough because there's I have I've literally just a laundry list of of characters here, and like trying to figure out like what's the most important, what could come back to me, and I think the most important thing for me is to take America's number one sport right now, and that's the National Football League, and I'm drafting. My running back, the unstoppable, the incredible Hulk. I hand it off to him. I say, Hike, here you go, Bruce. Have fun. And he literally just going to get a touchdown every single time. I thought you were going to go in a different direction um, based on what you said. And I think that's a good pick, though, because, you know, the Hulk can literally play any position. He's a giant, massive, strong man. He can play linebacker, too, when he's not playing running back. You know what I mean? Like, he'll be, he's Lawrence Taylor. He's Lawrence Taylor and. You know, I don't know, Walter Payton at the same time. Like he's he's both of them. The he's bus. great. He's unstoppable. He's incredible. I, I um, like to pick anybody else. I think that's a good pick. I just thought you were going to go in a different direction there. Anybody else got anything? It sounds like everybody's in agreement. Oh, this is good content so far. All right, Kyle. You have the number four. <laughs> great <there>. conversations. <laughs> All right. I want to get my hockey out the way because it might get taken. Because We have two um, straight picks, so you can do whatever you want. Oh, bad. Okay, now. My hockey pick is going to be the Silver Surfer. Good pick. Good pick. Ooh. Good pick. I, had him, I had him on my board. Had him on my board. No, I was because first off, my first two was taken already. Hate so then I was sitting here thinking, I was like, who do I know? First of all, I know the least about hockey on this entire thing. So it's going to be here, honest with y'all. I was like, all right. I gotta find. I was like, who can possibly ride, or who can possibly ride good enough to where they can skate? I was like, ah, Silver Surfer, and he can brawl, and like, like he can go go. You know what I'm saying? And he's extraterrestrial, super athlete. It's great. Um, so my baseball pick is gonna be Black Panther. Wait, 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 wait. But don't don't start yet. Okay, I, we heard it, but I wanted to review the. Oh, just sorry. do it, and then I'll review the whole thing. Just go, just go. Black Panther, just because um, a Chad, um, 
Bozeman was um what's his name? Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. First off. Second of all, like I just feel like he could do everything. He'd be like Bo Jackson. I feel I, I feel like there were some uh, some better sports for I had him on the list. In a in another spot for Black Panther, so I feel like there were other sports that Black Panther could have covered better than than baseball. Seems yeah, like the other two sports, I got some, I got other people for that. Okay. Well, it's yeah, it's fair your enough. pick. That's, fair enough. That's who you go with. So before we before we move on to Joe's second pick, the first round, um, Deadpool for hockey goes to Dave. Wolverine for hockey goes to myself. The Hulk playing football to Joe. And Silver Surfer for hockey to Kyle. The second pick, the first pick of the second round was Black Panther baseball to Kyle. Now, Joe, you are up in the second round with the second pick. Go ahead. Wow, this is tough, guys. No this pressure. is a lot. It's like no the pressure. good thing though, since you guys have all taken hockey, I can just I can punt on that and wait till the fourth round to take my hockey. Because so, nobody else. So now I got to focus on. Now I got to focus on the other two here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with basketball next. And we got to think of the typical talents you need in basketball. You need quickness. You need skills. You need strength, agility, just, you know, uh, a strong, strong, like, you know, basketball IQ, seeing the floor, seeing everything develop in front of you. A leader. A leader. And that's why I'm going with Peter Parker himself in Spider-Man for basketball. (laughs) Because the spidey sense, anytime someone's going to try to steal the ball or something like that, he's it's going to pop off. He's like, nope, he can do backflips while dribbling out of the way. It's going to be incredible. I, can I can I say something? I've seen no. Spider-Man dunk in The Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man. Exactly. It's pretty legit. <laughs> exactly. It's pretty exactly. Literally, anytime they could double team him, it doesn't matter. He's so agile. He knows anytime he's in danger of getting the ball stolen, he'll be able to to do his spider tricks, you know, out of the way. And he has incredible handles. He has great court vision. He sees everything, eyes behind his head and everything. I think I think it's a, a it's a great pick. I do too. I would love to obviously love to have Spider Man. I mean look at my shirt, but I, I had a feeling he was gonna go before I got back to my pick. And I really needed that Canadian pick. So Joe goes thought, to Spider Man for basketball. I had him for yeah. football. I thought he'd he'd snag mm-hmm. any pass you throw his way. He was gonna pull in anything. The time he kill with the speed and everything. Yeah, that's why I had Black yeah. Panther for football too, for essentially the agile, the same reasons of dodging everything. And and speaking of draft day, he was the linebacker though in first overall. That was there you go. He was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter what you guys' football picks gonna be because I'm about to I'm about to get, get I'm about to pick the football pick. Okay. I'm gonna go with my football pick on this this one here. I am gonna go with who I thought Joe was going with with the wording he said. I'm going with the juggernaut. This is why. Once the juggernaut gets going, he cannot be stopped. So once you hand it off, no one can stop the juggernaut from getting to the end zone. So my only hesitation and question why I didn't go with him because of the last time, the last draft we had, we had the conversations about if somebody qualifies as a superhero or not. And juggernaut is like typically more is more villainous than a superhero would be right. That's Someone true. like it's called the hero so, draft, isn't it? So that's specifically I we, why that's, I didn't choose the juggernaut because he's not a superhero. Yeah, I guess we should have gone over that more in the beginning. Well, you know what? I will. I will. I will take that pick away. And now, we well, no, it's up. It's up to Kyle and Dave. Remember, we can no, vote. No, no, that's what I'm saying. You guys no. converse. If you guys like are cool it. with it, we'll keep. I'm cool I like with it. If not, I'm cool I will, with I, it. I will I'm totally it. cool. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're wasting the pick on the juggernaut. You. you can Please. keep it. Do that. <laughs> wasting a Please pick on the juggernaut is not the Please way to go take with football. It. That dude is. Thank you literally you can't stop him. Like you like you gave him the ball. That's fine. You you take it. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm taking <laughs> word. That's perfect. You guys I, I protest, no, but I lose. I, I lose two to one, so it doesn't matter. I was gonna say you guys could have said no, and then I just get nobody there. <laughs> yeah, you would have taken somebody else. Out, you would have you would have taken away from my draft pool, which is coming. No, up he'd have to. No, no, no. You weren't here, David. He'd have to draft yeah, it sorry. at the you end. You guys can vote again if you want. Oh, tough I would have had no, to draft no, 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 my no. excellent take, idea. And he still gives take, it to me. This is great. Take, <laughs> this is great. Take, take, take. This is definitely a uh, host priority here. There's no bit. reason I should have just been able to keep that, but I will take the juggernaut. Um, he's an unstoppable force. You can't stop him once he gets to the end zone. 
And I, it, like I said, when, the way you worded it, Joe, the way you right. said, I think you said the unstoppable. I, I did. Yeah. No, he's going to take the juggernaut. Like, so um, that's, that's my pick. Well, and yeah, I believe, way, I believe in superheroes and you believe in winning about at all costs. I get it. You have yeah, no moral yeah. fiber in your bone. So <laughs> no, no teams that win do. <laughs> By the I guess way, you learned from the Patriots. Damn! Damn! How many Super Bowls do they have? This is great. Hey, um, by the way, the the matchup of the Juggernaut versus the Hulk. That's be pretty Sunday good. Night. That'd be Sunday night, dude. I can't wait to hear Chris Collinsworth commentary on Juggernaut versus Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Here's a guy. Here's a guy that's really hard to stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, you are up with your last pick of the second round. Yeah, so for our last pick of the second round, uh, you know, the boys in the war room have decided we're going to go with basketball here for this pick, and we're going to take Mr. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Reason being oh. is, I mean, that guy can stretch, man. The Space shot, Jam, baby. The hook shot, no joke from this guy. This is going to be the next Kareem. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. So uh, we're we're gonna, we're perfectly happy taking uh, Mr. Fantastic there for basketball. Uh, is there a discussion on that pick before we hit the turn? Yeah, or how because, would you like to do no, it, well, because I, I was gonna ask. Like, I was thinking of Mr. Fantastic for basketball too, but more for like the Michael Jordan Space Jam, like the ability to stretch for a dunk from any port part of the court yeah. more than the hook shot. Well, I mean, I mean, oh. look, that guy in the paint is gonna be a problem. And that's <laughs> and that's and that's a fact. You know what? I I don't have any. Well, goaltending still exists in superhero basketball. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just no, 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 over the top. That's all. That's all. It's gonna be good. Blocking shots. Where is this guy? This guy's gonna look like uh, what was Taco Fall playing over in China? Did you guys see that video? <laughs> <laughs> same same concept. Same concept. That video, Mister Fantastic. That's why we oh. brought him in. The the team saw that video and they were like, "Hey, can we replicate that?" And we were like, "Yeah, we can." And that's uh, that's why we went with Mr. Fantastic for basketball. So I have no argument on it. I'm more just disappointed now because that was going to be my pick with Mr. Fantastic mm. for basketball. <laughs> and I, now I'm like, damn, I should have done that because Dave would not have picked the juggernaut and it would have come back to me anyway. Um, so that's that's really that's really disappointing for for your boy. But that's fine. That's what it is. That's how this draft works. Uh, any other argument for that? I mean, I think I think Spider Man is gonna is gonna juke the hell out of you know Mr. Fantastic out on on the open court, but you know we'll see we'll we'll see what just happens. Imagine the picks Mr. Fantastic can throw when he just stretches the body out. And you're trying to drive the lane, and he's like, "Not today." He did um, excuse like, me. By the way, if he's stretching the body while he's setting the pick, that's a moving screen, so it'd be illegal anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take the charge eventually. But all right. Uh, so in the second round, uh, Kyle went with Black Panther for his baseball pick. Um, Joe went with Spider-Man for his basketball pick. I went with the Juggernaut for my football pick. And Mr. Fantastic was picked for basketball on Dave's team. Dave gets to start the third round. Dave, you are back on the clock. You have, oh, by the way, uh, Dave has baseball and football left. I have baseball and basketball left. Joe has baseball and hockey left and Kyle has basketball and football left. Now you are on the clock. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna, I'm going to go with my baseball pick here. And uh, we're going with, of course, probably one of the best baseball players you could ever have, Captain America, because nothing screams <laughs> Captain baseball like Captain America. I mean, if anybody's going to sit there and play short and crank dingers, it's going to be Captain America. And that's what we were really looking for. Our draft strategy was just who can crank bombs because that's what you need in today's day and age and and i think captain america can do that but he can also play the field which is something some of the other guys didn't have they would have been clear dhs like the hulk was somebody who i was thinking about just walking up to the dish and cranking homers but there's no way he could play the field so we're going to go captain america as a true all-around american and he'll be a great all-american for our baseball team hey you took my football pick damn Oh, Man. that was the That's football an interesting pick. football pick. I'm not going to lie to you. Did everyone have him on, on their board? At linebacker no, linebacker. I did not have Captain America for any of my okay. sports. I was, I was just wondering. Thank you. Thank you. So he's only on Honestly, we're, we're very confident about our team right now. We're feeling pretty good. I don't know how you guys he, are going to pull this up, but he's, he's uh, a great feel better. He's a great player to have for any sport because of his leadership. He's a yeah. great. You want to talk mm-hmm. about locker room guys? He's gonna mm-hmm. he's gonna pull the team together. So anybody? He's else an all rounder. 
yes, all around. Yeah, yes. That's what he's you like need. The Mario of the Marvel. <laughs> Marvel you need yeah. you need he's tool good, players in baseball. At at everything, but not great. He's five tools, man. He's the Mike Trout. He's your Derek Jeters. He's your Captain America, David Wright. That you need to have. So uh, I'll just uh, we're we're happy with the pick. We're really happy. Team's looking good. Did you pick Captain America because you're a Mets fan? Be honest. No, no, I, I truly because you said I the David Wright part. You know, <laughs> right. I mean, like I feel like every Trout great. Too. Mike Trout and Derek Jeter, I threw it out there. But no, I, I just felt like right off the bat, if there was a guy who would play a great baseball player all around, it'd be Captain America. I don't know if there's any other guy who I feel like could be a five-tool baseball player like Captain America could. I've got a, he was I've also got a from like the, the 30s, oh, is that right, Joe, 40s. Bro? So like, you he know, plays old school. baseball was very big. Yeah, old school. Baseball. He's he's yeah. he's averaging like 365 batting yeah. average. He <laughs> slap singles the other way, you know. <laughs> the way when baseball was good. That's Captain yeah. America. <laughs> Eating John Cracker Jacks. Singles. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just chumming right, it so. up with Babe Ruth. Cappy, Cappy is uh, Dave's pick for baseball. I'm actually also going to go with my baseball pick. Um, I am going to go with the god himself, Thor, oh! my baseball pick. He was my Which second on the board. I'm going with him. He swings that hammer, right? So he yeah, could he swing does. a bat. He could swing a bat, and he's going to crank some home runs. He also throws the hammer at incredible speeds. So if I threw him on the mound, this man is going to be – he's going to be striking people out. Um, there, there's a lot of reasons to go with Thor. I just feel like Thor is the best the best way to go because he's a, he, he is the five-tool player, and I can literally explain it to you in each one. Um, just, he's godlike agilities, and then you know maybe they're starting to lose. He could th- get a little lightning going, and then the game's called for then. So like, there's a lot of ways he can go to to really be the best baseball player. So Thor will be my baseball pick. I mean, he can like you know fly out with Mjolnir. Like he's he's in center field because that's I was gonna draft him if he didn't. And like he sounds, oh, there's a home run to like short short porch in right field, the Yankee Stadium. Mjolnir's like, nope, and he flies right over to it and he catches it. Catches, so yeah, it's, and it's he just, can actually use it as a bat, like Donkey Kong in Mario in Mario Sluggers, yeah. where he's he's just so strong. Bah. Donkey Kong uses his hands, so every swing he takes in that should be illegal, just like in every sport. I mean, he plays <laughs> soccer with his hands; that's also illegal. But <laughs> but remember, we we had this discussion. It's not against the rules because Donkey Kong can't read the rules. That's true. Well, no. So how's he supposed to know? He just doesn't understand that. (laughs) How's he supposed to know? He can't read. I'm sure there's plenty of athletes that can't read the rules, but they still have to follow the rules. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So Thor is my pick. We are up to Joe. Yeah. That's tough because I was really banking on Thor in that slot because he'd hit. Glad I picked him there. You know. Is the only difference is if he's a righty or lefty. I think he's a righty, so that would hurt him a little. Yeah. If because if he was a lefty, you got the short right porch. You know, it'd be you'd be Babe Ruth yeah. all over again. But um, all right, I'm also gonna go baseball. So three picks in a row, and I'm just look. I'm looking at how the field is developing here, and we got David, Captain America, the five tool player is gonna hit 360. Thor gonna be crushing bombs. I need a pitcher to be able to to stop this. So I'm going Doctor Strange because he's going to be so funky on the mound. He's going to be that knuckleball curb pitcher, random. He's going to use all his all his magic to just. You're never going to know what pitch is coming, what angle it's coming out of. Everything is Doctor Strange is going to strike everybody out. That's a great pick. I was not thinking about somebody who could throw. I didn't. You know, that was that's a great pick. Solid See. Pick. I, I put that See, into my Thor pick with the throwing, but that's still a good one because he could throw the ball, make it appear somewhere else, and it's better than a curveball. You don't even know where that, it's coming that's what, from. That's what I'm saying. Thor went from batting a thousand to you know batting you know two twenty like all the other sluggers today now, <laughs> just because of my just because of Doctor Strange. He'll run into some Thor and Captain America. They'll run into some, of course, but you know overall, I think Doctor Strange is going to have he's going to have more strikeouts than like Randy Johnson. You know. I like it. What what else we got? Anything? All right. It sounds like we're on to the next one. So, Kyle, you can wrap up the third round here. All right. So, my football pick is going to be Star-Lord. Oh. Okay. Now. Oh, yeah, Joe. Oh, yeah, Joe. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I know. Now, watch. So, I looked up Star-Lord's powers while y'all was talking. Right? So, Star-Lord is going to be my quarterback. Because, A, he can fly. 
B, he can um, generate a personal force field, and he has superhuman strength, and he can recover from injuries. And also, the one thing that I like that he has is unpredictability. He's just like Brett Favre. Just like Brett Favre. You never know what you might get. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but how many Super Bowls Brett Favre got? Exactly. A few. What you mean? He's, he's been to two. He only won one, though. Been to two. He only won hey, one. Hey, all that matters is that you go to one. <laughs> all that matters is that you win one, man. It don't matter. All that matters is that you win one. <laughs> and that is what you win it. And that is what you win it. It's not just like, head there. He went from, <laughs> like, look, look how many Super Bowls he has to, well, he went to one, like, you know, real <laughs> no, quick. No, Zero to 60, no. guys. It's okay. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's all about perspective. I'm a Falcon So I player. so I like the pick. I I would have imagined Captain America would have been that spot right as your leader, yeah. your quarterback, and, and if Dave wasn't such yeah. a jerk and you know took it from you. <laughs> but I like the pick because especially when Star Wars got the gla- the 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 goggles and everything on, he can see the field very well. He's gonna have that Peyton Manning pre snap read ability like anybody else, and his uh his. His crazy nature, unpredictability. He's like if Lamar Jackson could fly because he could just like decide to throw or decide to run or like he's going to have strategies that you're not going to know what he's going to do because he doesn't even know what he's going to do because he goes off the, you know, the seat, you know, flying off the seat of his pants or whatever. So he's, he's a great, improvision. great, great leader. He's the leader of the guardian of the galaxy too. So, you know, you need that leadership out of your quarterback in the locker room too. So I, I think it's a, it's a solid pick from now understanding your explanation. At first I was confused, but now it's a solid pick. And, and doesn't oh. Star Lord just have the swagger of a quarterback too? That's something you really yeah. need as a quarterback is a lot of yeah. swagger. And he, he really does. Oh. All right. So we're done with three rounds. We have one round left to go in that round. Um, Dave took Captain America for baseball. I took Thor for baseball. Joe took Doctor Strange for baseball. And Kyle took Star-Lord as the quarterback of his football team. Uh, Kyle has to pick his basketball pick. I also have to pick my basketball pick. Joe needs his hockey pick. And Dave needs his football pick. Kyle, you get to start the last round. You are up. Okay, so if Schnabel gets to have the juggernaut, then I get to have Ultron for basketball. So I knew there was selfish reasons why you guys didn't disallow his vote, because that's ludicrous. <laughs> I essentially get a 7-7 LeBron James, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, and, and all I got to do... I don't have to teach him nothing. All I got to do is download it. It's a wrap. <laughs> I just show him the 2016 NBA Finals, and it'll uh, it'll just go off. It'll go off. I can't say I'm, anything because I got I got juggernaut. So yeah, and then I can take my entire team, and we can play every single sport. Well, most of these, every, I think everybody can play. Every I think sport. yeah, I think I Captain know. America can play every single sport. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's pretty athletic, so can't believe oh, he's yeah. a third Everybody rounder. <laughs> third rounder, a gem they call those. The gem. Just just <laughs> fell right into our hands. Unbelievable. He's gonna play with so much like such a chip on his shoulder. Seeing him I mean, way, way after the juggernaut. <laughs> Come on. You know. All right, this, if Captain America tried to stop the juggernaut, he'd be flying into the stands. <laughs> Do you know that, right? Debatable. I don't know. I mean, I think the Ultron is. Whatever, I guess we have to allow it because you you two ridiculously allow <laughs> the, so the juggernaut. So fine. But like so I don't know. Not, I think you could have found I think you could have found better ba- basketball players. I won't say anything in case Look, somebody else well, wants can to. Can I just say something? It's funny. It's funny he went with Ultron when he could have just went with Iron Man. That's a good point. I didn't want to deal with Tony Stark. He costs too much money. That's true. And he's got an ego. He's got but an he ego has a lot of money. He can bring the best players to your team. No, there's still uh, salary can... cap in, in superhero sports. Exactly. <laughs> hey, man, we've seen how that, how that worked out with LeBron, okay? <laughs> he won one. So, uh, he's going he's gonna to bring in Ant-Man on a veteran minimum contract. You I know? wouldn't compare just him to LeBron because that means he's going to leave your team. <laughs> so Ooh. he's just going to leave going somewhere else. You don't want Damn. that. Okay, so Joe, you are up. Um, 
Go ahead. I was I wouldn't compare him to I wouldn't want my uh, player compared to LeBron because he's just gonna like post weird tweets all the time. Do you guys ever see what LeBron tweets like? Taco he's Tuesday. like he like has like half sentences sometimes and like he's like talking about two different things. It's like very confusing. So I'm like, what is LeBron talking about? He's just excited about every sport. So I I like that part of him, but like sometimes his tweets are very confusing to me. This curling uh, match is unreal, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, all caps. Uh, all right, so I have to take hockey, and the obvious picks of the Canadian superheroes were unfortunately taken right off the jump. But two. I'm gonna bounce. I'm gonna bounce back and go with another, you know, cold weathered superhero here, and I'm going with the Winter Soldier. He's went to Russia. Does uh, Dave? What do Russians feel about hockey? They're pretty good at it. Am I wrong? Word on the street, they are pretty solid. So Russians are really good at hockey. So he is the winter soldier. He likes the cold. He likes the cold of the hockey. He's going to be great in the brawls. Maybe not against Deadpool, but against other superheroes. He's going to be really strong. He's not, he's going to be that like agitator style that, you know, Sean Avery style of player that you need on your team to, to cause a ruckus for, to frustrate the other side. And, you know, he's Russian and likes winter and, that's the biggest combination. Like, what else do you need to play hockey? You you forgot the biggest part about the Winter Soldier being a hockey player. He could just be brainwashed. You could say you're now Wayne Gretzky. Ooh, like, it's now just really good because he thinks he's Wayne Gretzky. Well, he's probably still not going to be as good as Wayne Gretzky. But I like. The what, what do you, do you think, think, Dave? You're the hockey no, guy no, here. I think, I think I think it's a good pick. I think it's a solid pick. You know, I had other guys on my board, but I think that's a solid a solid pick. I just keep thinking about it. I was just like, man, like. How does he match up against Deadpool? And I'm like, Deadpool would smoke him because I was like, Deadpool plays like Brad Marchand, and that's what you kind of need out there. But yeah, I like what the points you're making. Could could Winter Soldier score fifty? I don't know, but you know, he might be a, a good middle six player. I'll, 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 I don't I'd appreciate put you guys making up these hockey player names on my podcast. <laughs> 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 this Wayne, what's what's his face? <laughs> Never heard of him. All right, so that's a good pick. I believe I'm up with my basketball pick, and I put a lot of thought into this one. Um, I've had this one on my board since the first round. I figured it would make it all the way to here. My basketball pick is going to be Groot. I'm going God, to- see, oh, that's one. what that's I'm saying, one. Kyle. That's, that's who one. I didn't want to say. That's an incredible basketball pick. That's a great basketball Groot pick. Is, he was my is, other pick. It's literally a tree, so it's hard to get around him. <laughs> like he, he is group. Land. He is group. Um, to make blocks, he could become taller. And um, all you got to tell him is Groot, don't let them score. Groot put in the basket. His brain his brain is not that great. <laughs> it should go pretty good. I am picking Groot as my basketball player. Incredible pick. Incredible. Very solid. Thank Very you. Solid I pick. knew it would make it back to me. I, I had a feeling. Um, and it did, and it made it back to me. So, Dave, you are here to wrap it up. What? All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh wait, yeah, yeah, that's right. everybody, right? This truly is final pick. This is the final pick. Well, this is an easy pick here. I had two very good football picks that I've been waiting on since Larry football was off the board for a while. So I was hoping that nobody would take these guys. Uh, but uh, my the obvious choice here for the Mr. Irrelevant pick is taking Iron Man. Iron Man's mm-hmm. going to be our quarterback. He's got a cannon for an arm. Uh, it's an obvious choice. This guy's going to be better than Patty Mahomes. So uh, that really rounds out our team. And, I mean, I don't think you could have a better team than Deadpool, Mr. Fantastic, Captain America, and Iron Man. That's a really solid draft. So we're, we're happy to wrap it up with Iron Man. Although I will say now, my other football pick would have been Luke Cage because I was Ooh. thinking about anybody running up the middle on Luke Cage. Thank <laughs> good luck, <laughs> my right guy. Off. I yeah, well, next, he would have gone full like Ray Lewis on those guys. Let's let's go over the draft really quick, and then we're going to go over some people that were left off the board that you were going to go with. So Dave's final team Sorry for hockey for is – it's okay. It's okay. That's it, it, It's okay. We'll I can see the disappointment in Joe's face. He just knows his team got well, smoked. Look at I, I, I am very com- oh. I'm very confident against your team. Oh. So here against. we go. So for hockey – Wait, hold on, because literally oh, Iron Man oh. needs the Hulk in Avengers. It's like – Loki's like, I have an army, and he's like, we have a Hulk. So I literally have the army that Iron Man wanted on my football team versus your Iron Man. He needed me. So 
The Hulk is a much better football pick than Iron Man. I don't, I don't know. Just Tom Brady and anybody would be good. I I have uh, some things. Well, he needs a defense. I have some <laughs> things that I want to say about some of the picks as well, but I want to say them first, and then we'll go okay. to that. So Dave okay. has Deadpool for hockey, Mr. Fantastic for basketball, uh, Captain America for baseball, and Iron Man for football. I have Wolverine for hockey, Thor for baseball, Juggernaut for football, and Groot for basketball. Joe has the Hulk for football, Spider-Man for basketball, Doctor Strange for baseball, and the Winter Soldier for football. And Kyle has the Silver Surfer for hockey, Black Panther for baseball, Star-Lord for football, and Ultron for basketball. Now, the thing I wanted to say is two picks there for football were completely made by being a quarterback. The two it's other most picks, important sport, most important position, most important position. The other two picks can literally play anywhere. Like if I put if I put the juggernaut on the D line and said just go get him, no one can stop me. That's JJ Watt out there. <laughs> See, but you're telling me Iron Man can't run the rock if he wanted to. You're telling me Iron Man can't catch a football. You're telling me Iron Man can't play linebacker. Like come on, dude. It's Iron Man. He can play. He can play wherever he wants, but he's not. He's not going to. He's stop. not going to be as he's effective as the whole can yeah. juggernaut. Yeah. 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 We went with That's the thing. You, you can have your quarterbacks, and you can have your. Your, your field vision and everything like that. And you, you, you might know that the Hulk is coming in at linebacker and Ray Lewis style. You might know he's rushing the passer. There's nothing you can do to stop it though. Yeah. Hey, bro. Both, uh, both can play those guys are very tall too. Arm. So uh, throwing over them is going to be tough. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. But, but let me I mean, ask you guys, how many Super Bowls have been won purely on the fact that they had a decent linebacker? Or uh, or a guy who could run well. Like, tell me, if, if it was all about guys running well, the Giants would have won. Like, well, I mean, Ray, Lu- Ray Lewis did it twice with uh, what was it, Trent Dilfer <laughs> and Joe Flacco. So I guess uh, I guess uh, more than zero is the answer. The night, the eighty five Bears, like you know, yeah, defense, defense wins, wins championships. Wins, defense does win championships. Defense definitely wins championships. Um, so, guys, who are some of the picks? We'll start with Dave, and we'll go around. Who are some picks that you didn't pick that were still on the board or some picks that you were thinking about sports that you just couldn't do? Yeah, I mean, I mentioned my Luke Cage pitch, pick, uh, which was definitely one. For for hockey, another pick that I had in there was Iceman. Because he can pick. literally control ice. How he <laughs> went off the board is kind of absurd, but – that's besides the point. I mean, it's in his name, my guys. Uh, but um, as to, there is no baseball man superhero. There, is, but there is a hockey superhero. So that was my thing. Like you know, I I, wanted, I knew Deadpool would be a guy who who would go quick, which is why I took him number one. But like, if I was the fourth pick in the draft, Iceman would have been my hockey guy because uh, you know, again, obvious reasons. Uh, but yeah. those were those were I would say the two biggest ones left off the board. Um, you know, I had a, de- a couple of decent basketball picks, but I don't want to take anybody else's off the board, guys. So, Cool. Joe, how about you? Uh, I had a couple. So pretty much no matter what, I was taking a Spider-Man for basketball. So if someone yeah. decided to take Peter Parker for football or baseball or, or whatever, I would have just pivoted to Miles Morales or Miguel O'Hara or whatever. Like I was taking Spider-Man because I wanted that for my, you know, my basketball pick. I just thought that's like the perfect – you know, and the entertainment factor too. That's a, that's more fun than just watching Groot stand there and and just block everything for four for six. You know, uh, for forty years. Groot's minutes very or whatever. talkative. <laughs> yeah, he says one thing. Yeah, um, he'd be great in the post game interviews. So I had a couple. I I had a bunch of like contingency plans, of like people of similar likeness. If if I didn't get the Hulk, I had the Thing and Colossus as well. Those are yeah. similarly. Uh, done there, and then if I didn't get Doctor Strange, I had Gambit as my pitcher because Gambit could do illusionary, trickstery things as his pitcher. And then if you guys have been playing Marvel Snap uh, recently, the new mobile game, uh, Quicksilver as a baseball player, he can just bunt and hit a home run because he's super fast. So I was saying you'd get you get one run every single time he comes up to the plate. Um, and then I was, tr- I had Drax as a linebacker because Drax, like, just tell Drax that, like, I don't know, uh, Thanos is on the other team and he'll never stop you. Know? <laughs> uh, but the other one, I was trying to, like, where do you guys think Daredevil would fit in? Cause there was, like, three well, different sports that blind. I thought, da- no, but he's, but he's not. He's still, see- he is blind, but, like, it's like, play football. 
At the, so that's why I was, I was thinking of Daredevil as like the linebacker, like reading the offense, like knowing what their plans were or something like that. Or even as a wide receiver, being able to dodge everybody, get wide open on the, on the, on the, on the screen, you know, on the pass. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So peep this. You know why I think he will be good in football is because he could probably see during football just due to the, um, the noise factor and that whole echo. What is he, called? what if he's playing in like, Seattle. Seattle. Dude, I was going to say the same thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, he's 12, fi- 12 fans. He's, he's oh, he's done. killing it. He's, he's killing done. it he in the SEC. can't tell what's going on. Yeah. I'm just saying. I think he might be able to do, like, echo locations to just to see where people are. Dude, from the sound. And That's a tough like one. That. I could see why that one was left off the board. But I I feel I had – I was thinking about it, too. I was thinking about Deadpool – or Deadpool, uh, Daredevil as well. Um, Kyle, what are some that you had that you didn't pick? Um, I was going to use Saber too. I was going to use a few villains. I'm not going to lie. Oh, shocking. I gonna... Got to yeah, use yeah, Ultron yeah, yeah, thinking yeah. about villains. Yeah, you know me. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a villain at heart. So um, I was thinking about doing Saber Tooth for my, um, for my football pick. I also, now this was a very, very far fetched thing just to piss Joe off, honestly. <laughs> just to piss Joe off. I was going to say Storm. For my hockey, I had a storm on the hockey one bad. too. That's not storm bad. Man. She'd have incredible defense. That'd be yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, I'm just saying. And who's oh, and I was gonna have Killmonger be my um my other basketball player. Killmonger um, over yeah. over over Groot. Okay, well, well Groot was my number two pick. Killmonger was like four or five. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I got a couple more questions before we wrap this up. Um, so Wait, who are you? Player- Shab, I don't remember. What were your uh, your left-off lists? Oh, I didn't have a left-off list because I pulled everything out of my behind. So. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> I didn't have a left-off gotcha. list. I had a couple that were picked. Like, I was going to try to go for Spider-Man for basketball as well. Um, I The first one I thought of when we first even decided to do this was Mr. Fantastic for basketball for the same reasons Dave said. Like 100%. And then, like I said, Deadpool was my hockey pick because I knew he was Canadian. And the Canadian hate to, hate Canadian to steal just, all your picks, so, man. But yeah, you man, stole all my just picks. happens. Um, but no, I happens. pulled everything straight out of my behind. So there was no, uh, no one left on the board for me. So uh, for football, Dave had Iron Man. I had Juggernaut. Joe had um, the Hulk. And Kyle had Star Lord. I think this is a pretty easy one. Um, me versus Joe would be the Sunday night matchup, and Kyle versus Dave would be the Sunday night matchup, right? Like, no, Ky- Kyle and Dave is the London 9.30 a.m. game. <laughs> Whoa. What? Whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah, remember that? Like, it's like, I didn't, it's take? like, I didn't, remember that? I don't know, you know, Dave, Dave's out here playing for the Jaguars, his, his football team, they're taking <laughs> over, his, it's UK's team. Yeah, you know, no. Trevor Lawrence is up and coming, boys, right? He looks better. <laughs> The he's, he's not the Hulk, though. No, he's not the Hulk. But he's got, he's got, I don't know, he's got talent. I, I expected guess. four powerhouses to be picked for football. I'm not going to lie. That's the most aggressive. Football. Like, I was, yeah, you should have had four beefy dudes for nope, more powerhouses. The first, the first person I thought of was actually the Flash, and then I was like, oh, DC. But because I was like, man, you give him the rock, like, forget about it. But uh, you know that would have been, been, been a good pick. Originally, I wanted Cyclops, but I'm not Cyclops. Originally, I wanted Cyborg, but he was DC because I was like, oh, yeah. Cyborg. He's big. He actually played quarterback and he could probably hit somebody, too. So I was going to kill y'all with Cyborg, but he was DC. Um, <laughs> hate to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Hate, mm-hmm. to see it, hate to see it. Maybe next time we'll try to do more of a DC one. I just think I think Marvel had a pretty deep. Uh, yeah. roster with like yeah. more no, more known characters. Because like even if even if we added in the DC universe, I mean, I think a majority of our picks still probably would have been Marvel characters. It, I mean, pretty, yeah, it probably would have just like been Superman, Batman, Superman, yeah. Superman and the Flash, the Flash. maybe Batman. Although the Flash, but... I will, like your Quicksilver point, I will uh, poke a hole in that. It's an automatic run if no one's on base. Yeah, put, stick him ninth in the in the order. You, but I'm you saying, know? okay, if you bat him ninth, what if someone gets a single, uh, the eight batter gets a single? He can't run it's, past them. It's out. No, I, I, I know, but at least once a game, most likely two or three times a game, he's coming up with nobody on base. So you're oh, hitting a home run first. So that's okay. I, either way, no you run. were at. I would say on average, if he bats four or five times a game, he is hitting 
two, like the, the bar, the over under is two and a half home runs per game because people are, well, if he's batting first or ninth, they're likely he doesn't have many runners on ahead of him. So the strategy for me, if, if it was seven, eight, nine, and I got the first intentional out, I walk. walk the eight batter. So yeah. he has someone on. So that can't happen. So now he actually has to swing away. And I don't know how good a baseball player he is. I don't know how. I don't know how. how he, I don't know if he grew up playing it. I don't know any of that. So I don't know. The I, don't, I only know from Marvel Snap. They, they don't talk about his baseball skill in Marvel Snap. So <laughs> wasn't he? Isn't he? Uh, isn't that Wanda's brother? Right, Quicksilver. Or am I thinking the wrong one? That's Wanda's brother, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so he's, so, a, yeah. He's, in, he's the one that dies in the Marvel movie, like mm-hmm. like very unceremoniously. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. they bring him in for fifteen seconds. And then he's gone by the end of the movie. Anyway, that doesn't matter. No, that's important. Well, this, this was a great draft. I'll go over the teams one more time for anybody who wants to hear it. Uh, Dave has uh, Deadpool for hockey, Mr. Fantastic for basketball, Captain America for baseball, and Iron Man for football. Joe has the Hulk for football, Spider-Man for basketball, Doctor Strange for baseball, and the Winter Soldier for football. Kyle has the Silver Surfer for hockey, Black Panther for baseball, Star Lord for football and Ultron for basketball, and my team is Wolverine for hockey, Juggernaut for football, four for baseball, and Groot for basketball. Now we get to see who wins the sports one. You can go vote on our social media pages. Voting will last one week. So from today, from when you're listening right now, it'll go up and it will end on Friday. We will announce it on Monday. So definitely go and check that out. Any closing thoughts for anybody? I think my closing thought is Dave would have ran away with it before the Iron Man pick. I think the Iron Man pick talked. I think, I think it's going to cost him a couple of votes from the public. I think he was going to run away with it before that. Damn. I mean, because you got Captain America, you got, he's literally Joe DiMaggio out there. You got the best Canadian for hockey. Like you, you miss fantastic and dunk from anywhere. Like you were crushing it. So you started feeling yourself a little bit on that Iron Man pick because I mean, the Hulk is going to crush him. My only other option was Luke Cage. I mean, so, I, you know, I think Luke Cage would have been a solid defensive pick, as we mentioned, D wins championships. But I also need to have a guy who throw a football. So I went Iron Man. I felt like also the, you know, maybe the people voting would lean more towards the Iron Man pick. I mean, when they, think, when they, like, when they see important. my roster – Right, you got to think about the audience here, and I'm I'm thinking about the audience. I'm like, you know, I like Luke Cage a lot, but does the average person like Luke Cage more than Iron Man? I don't know. So, does anybody? I got one more closing question. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was just saying that's that's good ownership doing what the fans want instead of what's the right move. You know, that (laughs) that's what like consistently works in sports is just listening to the fans' outrage. It is in this draft, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, the, fans so de- the fans decide championships here, of course. That's <laughs> true. So it, we everyone gets one pick, any sport, any person, any – like, it doesn't have to be Marvel. Give me one. Could be DC, could be independent, could be anything. Give me one. I just want to hear what you guys have. Superman um, for baseball. Superman for baseball. Dave? Yeah, I mentioned about uh, Flash for football. Flash for football. Kyle? Cyborg for football. I would go Frozone for hockey. Ooh! <laughs> Got him. Isn't it? It's solid one, isn't it? Got well, you can find him. us uh, anywhere you get podcasts on Schnabel Studios, on YouTube, Schnabel Studios. Um, you can also find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and TikTok. All of them are at Schnabel Studios. For David Gleesey, Joe Brown, Kyle Scott, I am Chris Schnabel. This has been another episode of Sketching Up. We will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye. Deuces.